To my brothers and sisters of arachnoculture around the world, today I am bringing you my top 8 favorite aggressive New World tarantulas. If you're wondering what the difference between New World and Old World is, basically the landmass of North America, Central America, and South America, along with the surrounding islands, are considered New World. All the other continents, Old World. In my top aggressive old world I only chose five and it was really hard to do. For this one I went ahead and went up to eight because I just couldn't decide on only five. Now let's begin. Number eight is Avicularia urticans. This is the most aggressive animal of the genus Avicularia that I own. Uh, the first one I saw was in National Geographic, and it was just so beautiful. Then when I began keeping them, I was disappointed when I actually saw one in real life. But now that I've seen one grow up, I can definitely see what all the excitement was about. They're absolutely beautiful. I love their pink toes, their long hair, and just their amazing color. I just think they're absolutely fantastic. Number seven on my list is the beautiful and flighty Cyclosternum fasciatum. This was originally nicknamed in the hobby the Tiger Rump Doppelganger. It is more commonly known now as the Costa Rican Tiger Rump and I love these guys when they're tiny. They're so tiny and they're so fast. It's just ridiculous. I just think they're really amazing and beautiful. Cyclosternum fasciata number seven. Number six on my list might surprise you. Brachypelma boami. This animal is beautiful, although they are nervous. They are not famous for biting people. They are massive hair kickers. And the more I've worked with these animals, uh, the more that I have become sensitive to the hairs. I will be closing this up now because I don't want to go and directly get in the shower. Moving on. Number five on my list is the big bad Formictopus cancerides. For quite some time, this has been known as the Haitian Brown. And word on the street is people are calling them the Hispaniolian giant or something like that. So for those of you who aren't uh, so familiar with uh, scientific names, whoa, there goes little little battle cry right there. And uh, yeah, not the friendliest animal, but I still like to keep them around. I think they're really beautiful. Definitely worth it. Number four on my list is Pamphobedius niger color. I especially love the way these look when they're little. They have a darling little orange Christmas tree pattern on their bootes. And now it's just kind of a mossy green brown spider. Still nice to have, but I think I enjoy them a little more when they're slings. Number three on my list, Salmopius cambridgei. This is the first Salmopius I added to my collection in the 90s. And I feel like it's a must have. Just that mossy green is so subtly beautiful. It's got the wonderful markings. The Trinidad Chevron Salmopius cambridgei is one of my favorite Salmopius. Number two on my list, Salmopia cerminia. This specific animal was actually produced by one of my oldest friends in the hobby, Bill King. The rumor in the 90s was that one out of seven of these animals being imported from Europe were female. So when you ordered, you would typically get a male, and the first several I got were male. I actually didn't get my first female and start reproducing Arminia myself until about 2011. And this lovely lady was the first female I've ever had. I love her and I just think she is a stunner. Number one, uh, Canthuscuria geniculata. 
Now, the reason this animal made my number one aggressive New World list as number one is because, woo, look at you, because in my videos in the past, viewers have raised such a hissy fit over me using the A word with this animal and saying, oh, you're an animal abuser, you touched it with tongs, or you got it wet, which I think is a little bit silly, but that's okay. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. This is not as big as they get, Acanthus guria geniculata. I believe this is also known as the giant white knee, although I'm not sure what people always use for common names because different people use different common names, which is why I tend to use scientific names in my video. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of my favorite aggressive New World tarantulas. They're all beautiful and fantastic. I can't imagine a collection without them. And I hope you guys found this informative. Uh, leave me feedback below, and I'll see you guys again soon.